Today I will be discussing a topic so relevant to us all, yet not one we collectively spend enough time thinking about. Do big tech companies wield too much power and are we being sold, controlled and spoiled by the power that these companies have? Now, I'm not here to overly criticise the tech age as it's done some wonders for our society. As many students experienced, it gave us a new education system, one in which the restrictions of the classroom do not matter. What we carry around in our phones is the equivalent to what our parents and grandparents needed a TV set, a camera, a torch and so much more. No generation of humanity has been as privileged as we are to benefit from what we have. Relatively cheap, completely accessible and so easy to navigate. But with that privilege comes great responsibility. But what are the problems? Well, there are some very compelling reasons why these companies are maybe a little too powerful. Since the five big tech companies, Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft and Facebook, dominate the market so much, they can do as they please, as no other companies come close to competing with them. They take over industry and can destroy their competitors. But you could ask, is this not business? Perhaps, but Amazon has gone from a mere bookseller to a global trillion dollar business in one generation. And at this rate, they'll never be knocked off their podium. If you're a small business, forget it. If you're a local business, give up. You don't stand a chance. Now let me paint you a picture. If I were to fast forward into the future and all advertising was dominated by Facebook and Google to the extent that no other newspaper or publisher existed, that surely would be a bad outcome. Or if the already almost dead high street breathed its last breath and there was nothing left but a bunch of betting and charity shops, that would be bad for local communities, the economy and society in general. Now, I'm not saying this is the aim of Amazon, but they have the power to do this and worse. Facebook recently confirmed that it had 3.1 billion users. Isn't that too much? We've been given some of these apps for free, yet we don't realise at what cost. Instagram, for example, know and store our data. They know who we follow, what pictures we look at, and even how long we look at them for, so targeted advertising will be better. As the famous saying goes, if you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. We are being sold. We are under the spell of modern technology and only we have the power to stop this.